fragmented forests, rolling into steep, rugged terrain, opening to wide valleys, a drainage basin that pumps life, giving water to a bustling metropolis. This is a central Cebu protected landscape. At the heart of the province of Cebu, the Central Cebu Protected Landscape, or CCPL, spans 29,062 hectares of adjoining forest lands and watersheds. Established as a protected landscape on June 7, 2007, by virtue of Republic Act 9486, CCPL is a consolidation of the Bohisan Watershed Forest Reserve. Mananga Watershed Forest Reserve, Kotkot Lusaran Watershed Forest Reserve, Sudlon National Park, and Central Cebu National Park. Its steep, long, narrow mountains and short rivers supply fresh water to Metro Cebu, home to more than a million Filipinos. It's the best place and the only place where you could harness the rain and feed Cebu with water. Rivers, the watersheds are there, and not only the land, it, it's just the right geography, right kind of soil to cut the water, put it into our depository, the underground, and then water the entire metro Cebu. And that's the very reason. That's why Cebu is very, very progressive, because it has water. Aside from being a major source of fresh water, Central Cebu Protected Landscape is a crucial habitat for 144 endemic plants and approximately 188 species of birds, reptiles, and mammals. CCPL is also rich in biodiversity. It is identified as a key biodiversity area number 149. It is also an important bird area number 68 and a conservation priority area number 102. With this, we can look uh, CCPL as rich in biodiversity. The flora found in CCPL in our latest biodiversity monitoring system, we found out about 150 woody tree species. Of that, nine uh, dipterocarp species one of the unique species found therein is the Cebu cinnamon or Cinnamomon cimbuensis. We have also identified about 151 fern species. We did have dipterocarps at one time. We, we found seven species when we did our survey here. We know there was Alma Siga, which was very widespread in the upper elevations at one time. However, most of that was cut out because it's the prime wood that you use for the facing on the guitar, the sounding board. So it was taken out many, many years ago, but there are remnant trees that are left there. Sa flora natin, marami dito kasi mayroon pa kaming cinnamon tree ngayon. Dito sa atin may mother tree pa tayo sa barangay Gaas, adalawang mother tree na kinuna namin ng uh, mga wild links. Aside from that, we have also that red lawaan. You have this uh, apitong, and then the magkuno, the very hard wood. And then uh, aside from that, uh, we have that tangili. On fauna, again, on the biodiversity monitoring system, we found out that about 64 bird species was uh, identified. 
Actually, during our last assessment in Tabunan Forest alone, we have uh, 93 species. We have uh, 13 bird species also identified. This is the uh, strict breasted bulbul and the black shama. Aside from the avian species, we have also identified uh, a species of amphibian, uh, arachnids, and other species in the area. Sa fauna, marami tayo ditong pinag-conserve din namin mga civet cat. We can also uh, see uh, sibo flower picker here in gas because it's very near from Tabunan Forest. Pwede lang na mag ano lang, tumawid lang yung ibon. Uh, forest area namin at saka yung Tabunan Forest. Ang mga ibon itong nakikita sa amin ay yung white fantail, copper smith, ammonia, sparrow, brown ear dove, mangrove catcherfly, Philippine bulbul, white-eyed kingfisher, tawny grassbird, Asian glossy, oliback sunbird, swiplets, Unlike others, the protected landscape is made up of fragmented forests rather than a single contiguous area. Sadly, timber poaching, charcoal production, housing and settlement, erosion and non-timber crop cultivation are slowly destroying central Cebu protected landscape. On the threats faced by CCPL, Actually, CCPL is in the central part of Cebu province and very near to Cebu City. So because of its location, it is very near to the urban areas. This is the very number one threat in the conservation aspect of CCPL because of its uh, vicinity in the urban area. And aside from that, other treats are on the agriculture, conversion of areas to agriculture. We have this legal poaching and some of the people from urban areas migrate to the protected area or CCPL. With that, it is very problematic in the central Cebu protected landscape. If you will go right now to our protected area, it's more of an agricultural country. It's 28,000 plus hectares of protected area, but the natural forest is not even more than 1%. It's very small. You walk to the fragmented forest for a kilometer, and after that, the forest is no more. It's an agricultural land. Dito, wala na kaming ibang source sa uh, ano eh, livelihood namin. Kailangan talaga namin kumain tatlong uh, bisis isang araw. Kaya nga, wala na talagang ibang magawa. Kasi mas mahal dito yung oling at saka yung mga panggatong. To mitigate the impact of these threats, immediate solutions are collectively being done by the DNR, the Central Cebu Protected Landscape, Protected Area Management Board, Soil and Water Conservation Foundation, the local government units, and other stakeholders. Reforestation efforts have given birth to man-made forests, while ecotourism activities have opened up new livelihood opportunities for the residents. Ito na yung ecotourism site namin. Gumagawa kami ng mga rides, uh, horseback riding, at Ayong mga kaingero dati, gigawa namin, ginawa namin crew para siya na lang maghila sa kabayo. May pang-araw-araw na siya na asahod kasi yun, yun, yun yung kinahanap nila. Eh, pa. Yung may makain sila araw-araw. At may mga ano kami, ski bike, yung tour guide, habal-habal driver. Kasi galing sa highway, yung turista, hindi namin pa pasukin dito kung hindi makasakay ng habal-habal para yung dating kaingero na, na mayroon ng motor, makapasahiro na siya papunta dito. Sige. May pamasahe na at pabalik. May pangaraaw na rin yung driver. At gumagawa kami ng mga abaca fiber. Inaorganisa namin yung mga tao dito na dati rin kaya ngayon na magtatanim na lang ng abaca kasi maraming market sa abaca. At yung mga taga-extract, may araw-araw na rin silang makakain kasi may income na. One of 
our important conservation efforts is more on the awareness of stakeholders and communities within Central Cebu Protected Landscape. We have billboards and other signages which uh, inform people of the importance of the Central Cebu Protected Landscape. Aside from that, we have this Dalaw Toro, which we immerse ourselves in uh, the school so that children, our pupils in high school and elementary, will also learn from the conservation effort of CCPL. Aside from that, the National Greening Program is also implemented in the Central Cebu Protected Landscape. Also, we have these Lawin patrollers which constantly patrol areas within Central Cebu Protected Landscape. Kailangan talaga yung IEC. Paliwanag natin sa mga tao kung ano talaga ang purpose natin, bakit tayo nagkaroon ng replanting activities. Tapos naintindihan nila na this is for the good of the the future generation. So that's why uh, nagtulong-tulungan na yung community. Sila na mismo humingi ng mga seedlings, tapos sila na mismo yung nagtanim talaga. From their initiative, na nagkaroon ng tree planting activities so that uh, sila talaga. Key players in the conservation and management of the Central Cebu Protected Landscape aim for sustainability by instituting policies, deputizing park wardens, and securing adequate funds, they are clearly investing on the protection of the environment for the future generations of Cebu. Our partners in the conservation efforts of uh, the Central Cebu Protected Landscape are the people's organization within the protected area. We have also a strong support from the uh, non-government organization which assists us in the conservation effort of the protected area. And also other government agencies like the Mines and Geoscience Bureau also appropriate areas in CCPL wherein mining companies develop areas or rehabilitate areas so that this will be transformed back into a forest. Continuous conservation efforts with an undercurrent of sustainable development secures the fragile Central Cebu protected landscape as an eternal fountain of water and a vital natural resource for the people of Cebu.